I'm gonna hit record. I kind of want to play Apollyon. I don't know why I just want to play Apollyon. <clears throat> but yeah, it's just the streaming. The streaming's weird and collabing is kind of weird. Oh, I want that. Well, that run's lost because we we just die now. You've yet to win a run on this, by the way. It just takes practice. We would have died no matter what. We only had a half a heart. We couldn't have escaped. Um, yeah, no, this game just takes practice. But yeah, no, like, collaborations are weird. And trying to, like, juggle shit. Love to join the offline sometime. Focus on hanging out rather than worrying about chat. Yeah, and, and it mostly comes down to, like, having to juggle two chats. Because, like, say, say I get raided, right? Say I get raided or you get raided. And it's like, all right, hold on. I have to mute you for a minute. I have to mute myself while I say hello to the raiders. And that, like, makes it awkward for the person who isn't being raided. Because they're, like, just sitting there with their, you know, their fucking thumb up their ass waiting for the person to finish. And, like, if you want to so say something to your chat, you have to mute yourself. And it's just, it's just weird. Chat cats are hard to juggle. They are hard to juggle. So, like, the idea of having one of us offline and the other online is kind of appealing to me lately. For, like, collabs. I'm gonna die. Especially after, like, doing it with Desi. Because, um, Desi was like, hey, come play Hunt with me once. When she was doing her, um, her, um, her biddy and, like, just being able to, like, hang out and focus on the game and not have to worry about chat while playing, while she was streaming. And then she didn't have to, like, mute herself because we all knew, oh, hey, she's live. So, you know, it's just... It's something that I've been thinking about. Ow. Bruh. <clears throat> just something I've been thinking about. Streaming, streaming is a weird culture in general. Like, trying to figure out how to do things in the most efe efficient way. Hmm. This is just a decent item. I'm only gonna try and eat bad items. And no, I have no idea why I wanted to play as Apollyon. I just, you know, I saw like Biznat play Tainted Apollyon, but I don't feel like doing Tainted Apollyon. So it's like, I know, I'll eat things for stats. It'll be fun. It's not like there's a guidebook. I mean, we've talked about that before, Hero, where it's like, if there was a, a quote unquote correct way to stream, then everybody would do it, and then you would just have every single person be identical, and that wouldn't be any fun. Be right back while you get cozy. Okay. Like, imagine if every streamer you watched was exactly the same. It would be boring. You wouldn't want to watch anybody. This is room number two. And I mean, like... It would just, it would just be no fun if everyone was exactly the same. It would suck. I feel like it wouldn't be a very entertaining way to do things. Be like a TV? Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, pop my neck a little bit. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, we have Dangle? Interesting. Interesting. I haven't fought Dangle in a little bit. Oh, God! He fucking yeeted those poops at me. Sir. I get that you're having a shitty day, but you need to calm down. You accidentally... You accidentally unlocked a Zazel? Nice. Congratulations. Ow! I'm gonna die again. I don't have the damage for this. I do not have the stats for this. Like, I'm doing almost no damage. I'm consistently hitting my shots. I just don't have the damage for it. There's, there's so much. There's so much, chat. Buddy, you need to stop being a poopy. Oh god, that almost hit me. Just, just one bomb and I'd have been fine. One, one bomb and I would have been fine. Sir... <laughs> Please. Okay, we finally made it in like 12 minutes. That was such a long boss fight. A luck up and a damage up. Give me. Come to Hanato. 
but yeah, there, there's definitely a lot to be said about trying to, you know, make your, your content unique, because if everybody's was exactly the same, it wouldn't be any good. But trying to figure out how to do it well and figure out, like, what works for your channel is, is difficult. And collabs are a lot of fun, but I feel like you end up in a position where you're not paying much attention to, to chat, because trying to pay attention to the game, to, to talk to the person that you're playing with, and um, try and focus on chat is a lot. Like, it's a lot of things to do all at once. And that makes it, you know, a bit tricky. Because, like, I know there was stuff that I missed. And I, I know that, like, when I'm in someone else's stream and I say something and they miss it or don't read it, it doesn't feel good. And so that's why I always try to make sure that I read everything that you guys say. And I know I miss stuff sometimes because, you know, I'm human. I'm just, I'm just one cat girl. I can't be everywhere at once. But, like, I try because I know that it sucks when you say something that you think is, like, interesting or profound or funny or, or whatever. And then the streamer just doesn't see it at all. It, it's a shitty feeling. Like, having kids and company over? Yeah. It's a shitty feeling. Gave me speed and luck. You get it, but it still stings a little. Yeah, like, especially if it's, if it's like where you're trying to say something that requires multiple lines of text, then you either, like the streamer might miss part of it or they'll end up in a position where like they have to grind what they're doing to a halt to read what you've said. And that's no good for anybody. Like it, it's just, it's not a good feeling. So the idea of doing it, you know, having, having like, if you're playing a two person game and one person is offline, then not only do I only have to worry about one chat, I'm not talking over their content, and um, I'm not worrying about, like, like, I wouldn't, like, if Shell was offline, you don't get that the shit feel when you're missed, but you understand everyone is different and you can understand. I mean, I think it depends. I, like, I, I get it. I'm, I don't get mad about it, but there's sometimes where it's like, oh, I really wanted the streamer to read that. You know, I was answering a question they had, or whatever. You know, it just, it happens sometimes. And that's, that's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of the beast. I love how happy the poops are, they're so happy. You're back? Welcome back! Unity Dead Space Time. You made a pretty funny joke, yeah. Like, it just, it just depends. Um, but like, if, say, say for example, that we were playing Apex like that. If if Shell was not live and Nox wasn't live, when they either of them wanted to say something to my chat, I wouldn't mind because like they're they're here. They're entertaining with me as opposed to like oh, these guys are spiders, so they're not they're not angry at me. Interesting. Um but like if I was talking to my chat and ignoring them while one of them was live, it would feel shitty. It would feel it would feel a little bit rude. Ow, fuck you. So, you know, collabs collabs are just all of the jank forever. Collabs are all of the jank forever. Let's just deal with that real fast. Bump! Oh, it left a segment alive? Uh yeah, I'm gonna eat that. It gave me more speed and shot speed. Why is it giving me bad stats? It's giving me all the bad stats. And exercise and juggling? Yes. Exactly. I'm just gonna buy this and go. But yeah, it's just, it's just weird. I don't know, I'm just talking to fill dead air because I don't want it to be silent. We all know being silent is the mind killer chat. You don't ever want to be silent. You want to always be talking, even if you're just narrating what you're doing and saying, I'm shooting this fire. All right, I don't know how many bombs, so we can just go. To be honest, it feels rude to stream while you are in another person's stream. I guess it depends. Like, if you, if you're, if it's understood that both people will be streaming, like, I knew Shell would be streaming. There was no question about it. I was invited to join. And Shell knows that I stream at this time, so like we were we were all on the same page. And you know, sometimes sometimes that's what you're doing. And it's fine that way. Like I'm not begrudging 
anybody else for streaming while we're doing a collab. I'm just saying from a complexity standpoint that trying to juggle a whole bunch of things all at once can be difficult. Content creators make content. We always just stare into each other's souls and find what lies below. Yeah, exactly. Like, it just, it can be a lot to juggle, that's all. I, I wouldn't be like, you're not allowed to stream. I'm the one streaming. In the same way that, like, when I see somebody post in the self-promotion channel in my in my Discord, but they've literally never said anything in any other channel on my Discord, I just let it roll off my back because I don't care. You can give more if you spread yourself out less. Yeah. I actually went for a point to try and make it so that you couldn't do that in in the self-promo channel. You had to be like rank five for it, but I ended up not doing it because it was too complicated. Excuse me. Hmm. I need a lot of money, chat. Spread Hanedu out? Please don't. How about I spread these legs? But like, no, because I want to play video games with people. It's fun. It's cool. But at the same time, like, it can occasionally be a lot to do. You know, you're, you're juggling a lot of things. It can be overwhelming. Why are you guys so aggressive today? That's all. That's all. Money? <gasps> Money. Spread these dogs. My joke, you stole it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Get away from me. Get away from me, you little shitbags. Get away from me. Get away from me. I hate bulbs. Okay. We managed to survive that. All right, I haven't found my item room yet, so we're just gonna do this. Okay, this is actually a pretty acceptable item that I want, that I'm not going to destroy. Don't, don't beans command, that's rude. I'm trying to juggle all these bitches. What is, what? Was he, like, clipped into the wall there? What was going on? I really feel like I don't have the damage for all this shit. Damn it. There's my angel room chance. I really feel weak. I don't know why I feel so incredibly weak. Does Apollyon just have, like, bad damage? I even got a damage up. So many discords, it's hard to keep track of, but also mostly just post art stuff in discords. Like, I don't care. It's just... Jesus, dude. This guy is sniping. I Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm in a bunch of discords, and do you know how many times I've posted myself in a self-promo channel? I don't remember, because I do it so infrequently. Like, it has to be a really special occasion. I don't even look at the one in my discord, except to get rid of the notification. Hi, Mithril. How are you? I don't know what started this conversation. Point point is, is like, it's just business. <gasps> oh my god, Big Bean! Thank you for the gift sub. Metal underscore total just gifted a subscription. Why does it Big do Bean that? Gifted a tier one sub to Metal underscore Hobel. <laughs> they have given four gift subs <sighs> in the channel. Thank you so much for the gift sub. I appreciate it. I appreciate it more than you know. It, it helps me with having to do my taxes later. I'm so glad I did my taxes already. You've been better. What's wrong, huh? What's wrong? Whoops. Well, I'm gonna die again. I hope everything's okay. Being a part of the community is better than the shotgun approach IMO. Yes. Agreed. Fuck me. That dude, like, telescoped his way over to me. Um... I definitely feel like I've made more inroads by being a part of a community than just saying, oh, hey, here's my my link. Like, that's how things happen, like, with Konzetsu. Was I, I didn't go in and, like, hey, I'm a streamer, hey, I'm a streamer. It was, I'm just going to hang out in his channel and eventually he raided me one day. Which was very nice of him. Super generous. Did not need to do that, but appreciated nonetheless. Very much so. 
And like, you know, how are you able to grow? Just hang out with people. Sometimes they'll go and check you out. Sometimes they won't, but sometimes they will. You just gotta, you just gotta be cool. Look, I don't know. Like I, like I said earlier, if everybody, if we knew what the correct way, in air quotes, was to, like, make it as a streamer, everybody would just do that. Everybody would just do that. Poops explode for 100 damage. A lot of hard work and a bit of luck. You have to remember, Frisk, is that I've been streaming since 2014. I have been streaming for a bunch of years, almost a decade. And if you look at my channel, I don't know how many people are in here right now, but it's probably around 30-ish, because that's usually where it sits, is the mid-30s. Sometimes you have a good month and I'm at like 38. Sometimes we have a bad month and I'm at 32. You're wel welcome back. Welcome back! It took extra time because you remembered you needed a shower still. How's your heart holding up after being abandoned so ruthlessly? I am absolutely heartbroken. I'll be okay, though. I'm, cr I'm crying it out. Anyway, yeah, I've been streaming um, for literally almost a decade, and there are people there are people who have been streaming for six months who have partner already, okay? So there is no correct way to do it. If that makes, if that makes any sense at all. Wow, I stood next to that bomb. Obsidian cracks that? What? Oh, do you mean my heart? <laughs> yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I don't know why I'm doing so badly on a polyon, though. Uh, but I also feel like I'm not getting run started. So, it's whatever. Did I hit record? I did hit record. Okay, cool. Um... So, like, I've been doing this for a long time, and for a long time, I'm talking until I started VTubing, it was literally just... This is just a random room with an item in it. Chat, do I take I I Ipecac? Yeah, if you're trying to stream for the purpose of making it big, you're probably not going to do well. I feel like Twitch really takes a certain amount of dedication and a lot of luck to go places, and honestly, a lot of it comes down to Twitch having shit discoverability example say say you're playing what what game do you play for us what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ask what games you like to play if a cack is great yeah but it might kill me you know how great many good people who've been streaming for many years you just keep hoping they get their chance exactly frisk what game do you play like what is your main game that you stream nice and I'm going somewhere with this. I promise there is a, a reason that I'm asking this. There is a reason that I'm asking this. War of Right and Battlefield 1. All right, I want you to do me a favor. First of all, think about how many people, how many viewers do you get regularly? Is it is it 10? Is it 20? Is it 1? See, that's what I meant about it damaging me. You know what? I'll take that. One to two? Okay. Do me do me a solid. Do me a solid right now. Go to one of those. First of all, first of all, tell me. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this for science, chat. We're gonna do this for science. This is, this is not going to be a dig at you. This is going to be a, a... In general. Not a lot of traffic for those games. Exactly. So, War of Right. War of Rights. Okay. War of Rights currently has one viewer. Battlefield 1. Battlefield 1 currently has 37. Okay. Now, if we go and we look at the browse, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got eleven things on my monitor in each row, okay? War of Right, yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm going to stop at 30 because that's 30 times 11, right? So that's 330 games that I have scrolled through and I'm still at standoff two is the last one there with 179 viewers. So I would have to scroll down dozens of pages just to find the game that you're in. And then deal with how many people there are in it. Now, granted, right now there's only one person streaming in each of those categories. It is 1.52 in the morning. They just might not be popular at this time of day. Now, the flip side is imagine that you're streaming Valorant. Imagine, hypothetically, you're streaming Valorant. We're gonna, we're gonna choose a popular game because it's easy and it's popular. So the top, the top viewer we're not gonna worry about because they're gonna be number one no matter what, because it's, it's you know, the big streamer. It goes from 18.7 thousand viewers to 3.5 thousand viewers when we go from number one to number two. So if you're in a flush, full thing, you have to scroll down super fucking far. I'm just literally holding down and letting it load to get to a handful of viewers. To get down into the single digits, I have to scroll down a, a half dozen times minimum. And there's a lot of other people that I could choose to watch in between them. No, 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 I get that, I get that. My, my point is, my point is, is that playing games, you have to find this nice medium where you're going to be in a, a directory that's not at the very bottom and also not be in a directory that's so full that you're in, a, in the very bottom. Because Twitch's discoverability is shit. This is not a knock at you, this is a knock at Twitch. So because they default to sort by number of viewers, you're gonna be at the very bottom and fighting an uphill battle against everyone who has fought the same battle that you are currently fighting to get to the point where they have a thousand viewers, 18,000 viewers, a hundred viewers. Because Twitch has shitty discoverability. So you will be dogpiled all the way down to the very bottom of it, which isn't good for anybody except for the people who have already made it big. It's very difficult to get noticed at all. So that's why people do things like say, well, make your, pay, to put your clips on TikTok and YouTube because people will see you there and then try to migrate them over to your main form of content on Twitch or whatever. So it's, it's an uphill battle the entire way. And some people strive to do it for years. It's, it's like the logic where people are like, um, um, like they talk about garage bands, for example, I'm putting my hair up and then we'll go back to the gameplay. It's like the logic of garage bands. It's like, you can be the most entertaining person around, but if no one discovers you, then what good is all that talent? It's still good, obviously, but like, you won't make it big with that because you basically need to get lucky and have someone be driving past you at just the right time. So it's it's a shit show. And, you know, a lot of it comes out. A lot of it comes down to luck. Making the right friends. Um, I think I might just eat that. Definitely gonna eat that. Nope, fuck you. Okay, yeah, definitely gonna eat those. So, you know, it's tricky. Your first three runs it, I'll give you charge side items, oof. Like, streaming, streaming do be a bitch. There's no easy way to do it. And you just kinda have to get lucky. I, I consider myself to be very lucky with the audience that I have. And in the grand scheme of things, my audience is pretty big. My audience is pretty hefty because of how many streamers there are, because of just how many people are trying to do it. And most of them never make it past like one or two viewers. If you have five viewers in your channel, you're in like the top 10% of Twitch. Oh, thank you. 
it's tricky, yo. So, you know, there's no foolproof way to do it. Pants crap. Clearly, you just made the right friends look at this specimen chat. Yeah, no. And I'm, I'm super happy for everybody that's here. I appreciate each and every one of you guys that comes to watch me. Whether, whether you're an active chatter, whether you're a lurker, whether you donate, whether you sub, whether you use bits, whether you don't. I'm just, I'm here for it, okay? I'm gonna take this black heart and the bombs. Like, I'm here for it. And I appreciate it. You know, thank you for the dicks. I, I appreciate it in ways that I will never be able to explain. So, so get, get appreciated, bitch. All right, let's find our secret room real fast. Okay, it can't be there. It might be here. Oh wait, we found our secret room already. I need our top secret room. Boom. Okay. Um. Valen beans. I don't need that many faces on my tits, thanks. But yeah, so it's just, it's, it's very tricky. And honestly, I think that most people that have like self-promotion channels don't ever use them. I don't think most people check them, but the thing is, I can't spell it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. People out there who want to be a part of your life is worth more than all the money on Twitch. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate that. I can spell appreciate it. It's Y-O-U. But yeah. Um. So, you know, you just you just kind of have to, to keep on keeping on with it and hope that you get lucky. But like I said, I think that most people, and this is this is like a, a thing that no one is gonna tell you out loud, even though it's true for pretty much everyone, but um, I'm gonna be real with you. People who put vent channels and self-promo channels in, um, in their discords are doing it to keep people from posting that shit anywhere else. We're, it, it is a quarantine. It is very specifically quarantining that content from being elsewhere because it's considered rude to to self-promote in someone else's channel it's considered you know no one no one is there to be your therapist streamers don't want to be your therapist we we care about you as viewers and we want you to be okay but we're not trained therapists look fisting can be for business or pleasure <laughs> like we're not trained therapists so that's why a lot of people who have vent channels is because they don't want that shit getting anywhere else. I wouldn't say garbage, but you know, it's it's considered rude to like, whoops, to um to self promote in someone else's, you know, their home. And yeah, we're we're absolutely not qualified to deal with it a lot of the time. Tell your close friends that you're not a therapist. Yeah, some some people need to be reminded. <laughs> But, um, you know, it's just, it's the nature of the beast. It's how things go. I, I was about to ask why I have all these flies before I remembered, oh yeah, I have rotten hearts. But like, most of us streamers, we do, we do care about you. We care about our viewers. You're important to us. But, you know, it's my house. I'm here for me, not to make you money. I'm trying to succeed over here. And most of us just are not equipped to be therapists. You can say, man, that sucks and commit a serrated rule, but that's it. Yeah, we're, we're just, we're not equipped for it. It's not, it's not something that most of us are going to know how to deal with. And then you get people who do get extremely parasocial. And that shit be scary. But like, it's just how things go. And it's kind of like the whole thing um, where there was... I'm not going to name names. Some things would be overwhelming to share. Yeah. Listen and offer your two cents, but you have your own problems. Yeah, like, nobody wants it to be for everybody else. Like, me as a streamer, I'm not I'm not qualified to be a therapist. But I, I don't want to subject the group and the community to it either. Because they're not qualified therapists either. Um... But like, and also the whole thing where like streamers talk, 
you guys might not know this, but we talk. If you're if you're a problem in one person's chat, you're a problem in everybody's chat. There have been people that I have banned. I'm not going to name names, but there have been people that I've banned because they annoyed someone else, because they broke someone else's rules. And it's like, okay, if you're not going to follow the rules of this person, I can't trust you to not fo to follow my rules. I have that exact same rule, and if you broke it on their channel repeatedly, in their Discord repeatedly, I don't trust you to not break it in my channel repeatedly. And rather than let that fester, no, just gone. G be gone. Mm, I'm gonna eat that. I got range again? I don't need range. Like, we'll just fucking yeet you. Yes, we do talk. I can't be facetious like that? Yeah, no. Um, and I mean, it's not like everyone's gonna go, oh, hey, this person did something awkward, immediately banned. But like, if it's a, if it's a problem in the community, like someone is abusing or someone's making everyone uncomfortable, like that's different. Like if, if it's something that's serious, you know, it's not like, oh, Tom was a little bit obnoxious today. So we banned him and then everyone else bans him. No, it's like this person was being extremely disruptive and harmful and scaring people with the things they were saying. You know, it's, it's not taken lightly. What the fuck? Oh, must be one dude is like a, a reverse -y champion. Got it. But yeah, so, so streaming's weird. I, I don't, oops. I don't, I don't know how else to describe it. It's it's weird, and like, it, it's like the thing I did. I did actually want to talk about this. I don't know if you guys saw that I retweeted a thing from Hazumi today. I, I did a quote retreat from Hazumi. Um, she was playing a game, and a bunch of the people that she was playing with were all in a Discord together, purposefully targeting her. They were they were intentionally bullying her by purposefully ganging up on her to ruin her fun. And like, bully the streamer culture is a real big thing. Can we ban someone for stealing a party member from me in Frisk? Yes. You'll often get a feeling about someone. They say a text has more feeling in it than but you disagree. Your intuition has never failed you. You kind of can get a feel for people sometimes. Definitely. But anyway, I don't know if you guys saw the retweet that I made, but short version, when you prank someone, when you're pranking a loved one, pranks are only funny if the victim is laughing along with you. If you're bullying the streamer, and we're all having fun, then you guys can bully the streamer. If you're bullying the streamer and I'm actually getting upset because it's it's affecting me negatively, then you need to knock it the fuck off. And the thing is, is that there are some people who cannot do that. Either because they think it's funny, because they're assholes, because they they don't they can't differentiate like the play angry and the real angry. Or they just don't know how to like read the vibe like vibe checks are a thing and you know some streamers not not every streamer has a hey let's all bully the streamer thing going on some streamers are very against that and it's absolutely their prerogative that they are um but some streamers like it and they think it's funny i think it's okay within reason but like i'll tell you guys i'll be like can't you see i'm having a bad fucking time here and expect you to stop and some people don't and it's like, bruh, can you not tell that this is going very poorly? Like, you need to read the room and, and figure it out. Oh, yeah, let's get rid of that curse. Uh, let's go eat this. You know, it's, it's, yeah, in moderation. Like, you kind of have to be able to figure out when something is okay and when it isn't. I'm going to use a bomb for this. And it's hard. Like, that's difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. And I get that. Yeah, there, there's a difference between Kappa and being an ass. But like I said, if if not everybody is laughing at the joke, it's not a funny joke. It's just being mean. And, you know, streaming is a big jank of, of, of that sort of thing. Where, where you're just trying to, to figure out how your community meshes... And every time, it's it's the whole thing of like, 
When you meet a new friend and you have to be normal until you can figure out how weird you can be around them. Do you guys ever have that where you meet, you meet somebody new and you're like, all right, how long until I can start being myself? Where you join a new channel and you kind of have to check what the vibe is. How did I do an RE4? Where you were time when I legit scared me? When did I legit scare you? Which part? Just, just which part? Because I know there was one part that... All the time? Am I scary? Am I scary, chat? You just go full weird. Fair. Boom. It, it's like one of those things, like, when I'm, uh... When I'm dying a whole bunch on Isaac, and you can kind of tell when I start to get tilted. Definitely the same around you now as when you're getting mad at the game. Yeah, no, but I'll tell you guys if you're doing too much, is the thing. I, I will straight up be like, chat, knock it the fuck off. Oh, you could be weird where yourself. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. It's why you're quiet in Discord. You know you're weird and your max weird isn't for everyone. Yeah. You, you definitely have to figure out where you sit on the vibe check. And it takes time to do that. It takes time to do that. And, like, there, there's a time and a place for everything. I remember, um... I'm gonna use Ram as an example, because Ram, Ram is the streamer that I watch the most these days. So, um... Hopefully she doesn't get mad at me at using her as an example. Um... So, the other day, she played a game called Unpacking, which is a game I have played before. That didn't eat any of them. Damn it, I was hoping it would. Um... You ride your bike indoors? That's not allowed. There's a time and a place for this, Red. And the model says to work whenever you get decked makes your neck hurt. I'm sorry. So anyway, anyway. Um, I made a comment when she started the game up, and I said, now we're gonna now we're gonna see how Ram um decorates. And she got a little um defensive about that. Which, in her defense, uh I said, no, no, I'm being sincere. And she goes, oh, I'm so used to you being sassy. But like, there's a time and a place for it. And you kind of have to know when to be sincere. And saying something like, oh, let's see how you fucking decorate can be a really shitty thing to say. It's an organization game, kind of, yes. Um, so like, you know, those, those are the sorts of vibe checks that you kind of have to, to get through. Because yeah, I can be extremely sassy a lot of the time. There's no reason to do this room. But I know when not to be. I, I know when not to be. Or at least I think I know when not to be. I try to know when not to be. Because you can get into a lot of trouble if you don't know when you need to stop being a certain way. And I, I admittedly have this bad habit of going right up to the line I go right up to the line, and then I stop, but I've already hit the... How will that work with this? Please tell me I have explosive babies. Oh, I have to find out if I have explosive babies. <gasps> I have explosive babies! Chat, I have boom bibis. I have boom bibis. I have baby stickle boom. All right. But yeah, it's just, you know, it's it's you got to you got to know when when not to be a troll. Because being a troll can be a lot of fun sometimes, but there's definitely times when being a troll is not the right thing to be. And, you know, it's a bit of a juggling act to figure it out. Babies aren't supposed to boon, though. Hi, Jelly Beans. How are you? Ouch. But yeah, so, you know. Passing passing the vibe check is important. I'm just kind of shooting and hoping I don't get exploded upon. I've got to balance it out for sure, yeah. Yeah, no, no. When it's not okay to keep doing the thing that you're doing, and I like to think most people are sensible and like they're not doing it maliciously. We are a baby popping machine. Thank you, Royal. 
for having that quote on hand. Thank you. I don't know. This, this has been a very heavy discussion that I was not expecting. I was not expecting to have a heavy topic. I'm just going to take Gish. There we go. <laughs> oh, I love this. Chat, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. I have I have exploding babies with swords. <laughs> Had that one ready for a quick draw. Oh. But yeah, so so the point the point of the matter is is that um trying to figure out the the correct thing to do for streaming. Um, as a content creator. Your game is silly and I love it, yeah. Thank you for lurking, Pinks. Is difficult. And a lot of it comes down to trying to figure out how to create interpersonal relationships. Because I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be real with you, chat. A lot of this business is making friends. Which is why it's important to raid people. Real has a million posts in it. It's like Bruce Almighty with all the quotes. I think that he can just search them. I think he just searches them. He's probably got Streamlabs up and ready to be searched. I'm gonna switch trinkets. So anyway, my, my point of the matter is is um, if you're if you're trying to stream and you want to grow, figure out um, make some friends, raid raid new people. Don't be afraid to to find new people to raid. Sometimes you might find someone who's really cool and have never thought about it before, like. I raided Desi. Desi was a blind raid. I was like, who else is playing Hunt? I had never heard of her before. Turned out to be pretty cool. She's really nice. I like her a lot. Thank you, Echo Kimmy, for lurking. You know? And then just kind of, like, chill out in their channel for a bit. Make friends. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's immediately going to translate to success. Like, they might never check you out. They might never look at what you do. But if you're doing it just to try and get noticed, you're probably going to have a bad time. Uh, this particular trinket, Mom's Pearl, increases the chance for soul hearts to drop. And I would very much like soul hearts to drop. Between memorization and the mod she set, yeah. Yeah, and definitely be yourself. I was, I was actually having a conversation with Grom about that last night. Um, about, like how some people who are into VTubers get um, a little bit, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck this 2D character. And that can be really awkward. And some of us, some of us use being 3D or 2D as a way to um, distance ourselves, but it's definitely a little bit like, how much do you want your, um, your real self to come through? Hmm. Oh, there we go. No, Leaf will be good later. So yeah, it's just... Streaming's weird. Streaming's weird! I'm gonna take a drink real fast. Can I? There we go. If you don't really have one viewer, you feel like it's not worth it, it brings a bad reputation towards you because it makes you feel different. Honestly, I'm gonna let you in a little secret. Nobody looks at the numbers. Nobody's looking at the numbers. I've had plenty of people who have raided me with only one person. And like, yeah, that feels awkward. But, um... Oh, I didn't get shit. It's fine. I didn't grab the, uh... The teleport card. Like a big silly. Oh, boy. I think it only eats one of them. That sucks. Um, I don't. I don't normally try to look at the numbers because the, at the end of the day, it's less about the number of people that you brought and more about the fact that you thought about me. You you were like, who can I raid? Oh, this person looks cool or nice or interesting or I like their model or whatever. It doesn't matter if you brought ten people, a million people, two people. It's just you. Most of the time, I'm not looking at the number of people that came in with the raid. I'm not looking at that. I'm just not. Wait. 
I think. Eventually, if you start with a personality, you can't hide your true self from this platform. Maybe. Cotton has the made for sin vibe. Others are not cool with it. Yeah. What nerf was from years ago? Hosting is not a thing anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's less about the number of viewers that you bring into my channel, and it's mo it's more about the fact that you were like, hey, I like Hanedu, I'm gonna go show my chat to Hanedu. I want my chat to see Hanedu. And that's, that's more important than whether you've brought a million people or one person. And I think that for a long time, I was in that exact same position where I was like, I don't want to raid anybody because I've only got two viewers. It feels really awkward. They're going to think I'm a loser. But when I was getting raids, when I started to get raids instead of being the one to raid someone, it just feels nice that someone thinks about me. Hosting is not a thing. They removed it. Twitch actively removed it a while ago because they said that it fucked with people like interacting with chat. Do I think that was a good decision? No. Did they? Yes. Hosting is gone. Um, but yeah. I think that it honestly uh, made my, my potential for growth suffer by refusing to raid people. Because think about it, if even, if even one person checks you out, then that's a success, right? Ouch. Then that's, that's growth. Now, I will say, don't, don't go like, yeah, hosting is innocent. I, I will say, I think that like, if you have one viewer and you're like going into somebody that's got 3000 viewers, like I wouldn't raid Tricky. I like Tricky. I've always, so this would be to listen. No, shut up. I like Tricky. Would I raid her with 30 people? No, because that feels awkward. I would find someone closer to my size. You you want to, like, it's nice to go and raid someone who's only got two viewers and just make their day. But if you're trying to grow your own channel, you want to raid people that are your size or bigger. But a lot of the time, it's not, it's not about, oh, hey, only one person is coming into the raid with me and that's me, the, the streamer. It's about... I, I like I like this person. I want to go share my community with this person. I like this streamer. I want everybody that watches me to see this person because they're really cool. Yeah, like 50 or 100. But if, if you're just raiding someone to get noticed, that's not a good look. And I will say, I wish that it defaulted to do a, a clip. Like, I wish that I could do that more because I, I like clips. I think it's really cool when someone raids and you show a clip of them so that my chat can see what you're like. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, that kicks my stream offline. I remember raiding Jerma and he did not notice because he was distracted with the game. Yeah, I've raided, I raided one person that had a few hundred one time and uh, she didn't even notice that I existed. And that felt really shitty. It felt kind of shitty, but shit happens. Shit happens, you know? You just you just move on. You know, it wasn't malicious. There was just a lot of things going on. Why am I not using this lover's card? So, you know, it, it happens. I'm not going to full clear. I don't care. Yeah. But, so, you know, it's 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 just, it's the nature of the beast. It's the nature of the beast. And, you just, you just, god damn it, you just gotta keep trying. At the end of the day, you just have to keep trying. You cannot give up. If you're trying to do it for money, you're probably gonna have a bad time unless you get really lucky. Exploding sword DBs are so broken. They are, yeah. If you're trying to stream for money, you're probably going to have a bad time. You need to get a lot lucky to be in a position where you can make money. You you can't... You gotta be both good. Like, you have to be entertaining. And you have to be lucky. You have to be noticed. Whether it be by just a, 
bunch of people all checking you out because you got in a good directory position or you got a good raid, but you also have to be entertaining to hold on to them. There's been plenty of times that I've been raided and I've looked at the numbers later and it's like, okay, cool, I got a raid of, for argument's sake, let's say 50 people, but only 12 of them stayed. You know, that's like, ugh. You know, it, it, it doesn't feel good to have your numbers spike up a whole bunch and then immediately disappear. It kind of feels meh. But that's just how it goes, because a lot of times people are... They're there for that person. So you need to just... Yeah, you need to stream for yourself. Don't don't stream for getting noticed. Just, just stream to stream. And it's especially so because, like, I see a lot of people who... Um, especially in the VTuber community, who are like, all right, I paid $1,000 for my model, and I bought, you know, all this custom stuff, and I have a fancy overlay, and I've got, you know, all the things that you need to be a popular VTuber. I'm going to do my first stream tomorrow. And it's like, honey, please, no. No, honey. No. You don't even know if you're going to like streaming. What if you hate it? And then, like, they start streaming, and their their audio is shitty. I need this. Oh, okay, cool. Like, their audio is shitty, and... Um... I'm just going to take that. You know, they don't have... Um... They're not good at talking to chat. Like, oh god, I got three black hearts out of that. Like, they spend all their time just staring silently and not interacting, which people aren't going to stick around. Yeah, please try streaming first. It really soon as you talk to us and any other streamer that does as well. It makes you feel less lonely and you start caring a lot more. You love some streamers' YouTube content, but they're too big to interact with, so you don't even bother. Yeah, exactly. A lot of people want you to interact with them. So if you're streaming and you're not talking to your, your viewers and you're not reading and responding to them... Um, like, some people will stay because they just like the big streamer, but, like, big chats get hard to, to deal with because they're just... It's just a wall of text, and I can't keep up with it when it gets busy. Yeah, we did get merch. I can't keep up with it when it gets busy. And I hate that. I wish I could. Um, hold on. But it's just... It's weird. And so you, you have people that they spend all this money and then they've got a shitty mic and they have they've never streamed before, so they don't know what they're doing. They don't talk at all. They their, you know, resolution is bad, they're laggy, whatever. And any number of reasons. It took Con like six months in sort to get used to it. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, you, you you have people that think that they're going to have their first stream and they're going to be super popular and then, like, no one shows up because they didn't do any promotion, which is something that I wasn't very good at before. Where is the streamer merch? It's right, it's right here above my head. So, like, there's so many things that you have to do right, and even if you do all of them right, it's still possible to fail just because of the nature of the beast, because streaming is weird. So, you know, it's just how things go. And I, I don't really have any, I don't have a way that can, that I can tell you how to do it right. Win? Just a minute ago. We got it on this floor. We're kink. We, we got it literally in the starting room of this floor. We just got it. I got three black hearts out of it. Is that a change that was intentional? To give me all three black hearts? Shit. Just have fun? Yeah, it's just trying to have fun. Don't don't look at your numbers. Honestly, don't look at your numbers. Especially not live. Especially not live. No, no. One of the, the items, Mr. Dolly was reskinned to be merch, and it's a, a Hanedu doll. Um, don't look at your viewers while live. At all. You can look at them afterwards, especially, like, if you're looking to see, like, oh, hey, I played a different game. Property of the Spear of Destiny or Dolly, where they should accept item names? Uh, what? 
we're going up. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Kind of want to have a 2D model for the sake of having one for artistic purposes. Honestly, it's very cool. It's very cool. But it can be very expensive. When will Hanedu merch be dropping? I told you, if you guys get me to partner, I'll get you a Daki Makura. You could have a Hanedu body pillow if you get me to partner. Chat, do you want a Hanedu body pillow? Pills are all good, right? Oh, are they? Oh yeah, because I took the thing. Good, good call. Good call. Probably cheaper than 3D still, maybe. Eh, it depends. Perks? Depends on, on... It depends on who you have make it and how many bells and whistles it has. Some of them are extremely expensive, some of them are not. I keep telling you guys, if you if you want me to get... If you want Hanedu merch, you just gotta get me to partner. I'm more than happy to, to make um, a Hanedu body pillow. I will commission... I will commission one chat, but I have to get to partner first. So get me to partner, and I will commission a, a Hanedu body pillow. I'll even let you guys have some input on who the artist will be. How do we do that? Um, I need an average of 75 viewers, so just keep showing up. Keep showing up. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Retweet retweet my going live tweet. Share, share and share alike. But will it be a saucy body pillow? It'll be a sundere body pillow. It will absolutely be a Sundari body pillow. $10 programs you can use to make models in. Yeah, there's Vroid, which is just straight up free. There's nothing wrong with having a Vroid model, especially if you take the time to customize it really well. Like, Vroid models aren't bad. They're not bad. Don't want to hug it or anything. It doesn't want you to hug it or anything, Baka. Exactly. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get it with the new outfit chat. And there'll be a little bit of, of little 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 bit of upskirt action. Which outfit on the pillow? Uh probably the new one. I don't know, we got we got two sides. Maybe I'll get a new outfit. Maybe I'll get something saucy, chat. Do you want something saucy? Still playing with Vroid to this day just because you like making hair in Vroid? Yeah. Daily reminder, Hanedu is cute. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up. Best Buy outfit? Yes. I will get a, an outfit that's me working at Best Buy. Hanedu is cute. Shut up. I'll fight you. Oh, I see. Yeah, give me that. God, we have six tiers already? Jesus. Every time you want to get a commission, you have a massive list of details you want to cause the arts to sigh and tally how much it'll take. I'm pretty laissez-faire about it. As long as it's got, like, my scars and stuff. I like to see what artists come up with that's different than the default. Oh, yeah, give me that. Fight this pants grab. Fine, I will. Let's have a sword fight, chat. Fight you two cutie, shut up. Oh god, what a terrible item. That was not worth. Yeah, our, our babies are a little bit OP. Proptosis? Ah, uh, we got big the baby shrink! <laughs> Dude, the body pill should have a chunk out on one side. A chunk out of one side? That'd be funny. All right, I need to get some hearts, chat. Henetta would win the sword fight, that's unfair. Shut up. I never said I would fight fair. Oh god, I spawned a whole bunch of speeders. All right, I'm a little afraid of the explosions. You know what, this is actually kind of okay. Cause now we shoot on two babies. The one time dunce cap is acceptable. Because we shoot out multiple homing babies. Eh. Oh, 
Moon. <laughs> you saw the clips. <laughs> But no, I, I I told you, if you get me to partner, I'll get a body pillow. But again, like getting to partner getting to partner requires three things. You have to stream for a minimum number of days and hours, and you need to have um, a 75 viewer average. And honestly, that's the tough one. Like getting 75 viewers is actually very difficult. Getting 75 viewers for a month is very difficult. For multiple reasons. It's it's a it's an uphill battle. I don't really need piercing, but I'll take it because I can eat this instead. Time to buy bots? No. No. Not okay. I wanna do it legit. We also need 100,000 followers for reasons. Yes, you do need 100,000 followers for other reasons, chat. Oh, that's good. Wait, will this shoot out? Nice. How are your tears battling sword people? Uh, so I have epic. I have Ipecac. I picked up Ipecac as my first item, which means that I have exploding babies. Uh, I got C-section, which is why they're babies, which is why they're exploding. And I got um, the sword that you, you kind of can't see it behind my head. See the sword back there? That sword is what makes them all swing swords. So that's why. Also, hello, Hunt Mage. How are you? How are you? Eh. Don't want to eat that. Welcome in. Time to buy 30 cheap laptops to run only in Edu. You guys are silly. Uh, range up is good since proptosis. I forgot I can see secret rooms. I might pay that dude off. We'll see. Very interesting you just got here. Hi, Marielle Chan. How are you? Holy water's good. Uh, yeah, let's pay this dude off. Look at my eyes, chat. Look at my eyes. Kind of horrifying. Eh. Whatever, I'll just take it. I don't care. Um. But yeah. So, you know. Those are those are the things that you guys need to do. It's hot, it's ready, it's five it's five dollars. You're new here, doing well. How is your night or day going? You just noticed you're animated. In the corner, I'm oblivious. I am a VTuber, in fact. I am a local. I am your local cat girl who says very regrettable things, as you can see by my quote bot. I'm doing okay. I'm having a good night. Having a good night. We played. We played some Apex with my friendos, and then and then we we played uh, some. We're playing some Isaac now. I have three devices to watch Hineto, but only one account. God damn. Very pretty green eyes. I mean, what? Oh man, poor blue baby. He didn't stand a chance. Okay. Not well dealing with a bit of loneliness. You sit stupidly in the corner. Oh, I'm sorry, hon. I am a cat girl, goddammit. You want little Caesars now? I'm sorry. I might make a pizza after stream. I'm sorry, Mary Chan. I hope you feel better. Oh my god, the, the tech point five here is just obscene. Honestly, all I really need right now is immunity to explosions, and I will be unstoppable. I will be the most unstoppable of bitches. Am I lap cat? Sure. Sure. Perks is really good. We're gonna hold on to that. We all need to set up virtual machines. Please do not bot view me. I don't- I want to do it legit, okay? I want to do it legit. I want to. I want to grow organically. Hands grab. <laughs> Hands grab. Sweet lap lat cap dances. Hmm. Imagine, imagine a cat giving you a lap dance. It's terrifying. Okay, so this this can be the the boss. 
So we're gonna we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. It was in fact not the boss. Mom's wig. I don't need more spiders. <laughs> yes, Panther. Any desires a slow and natural engorgement. Love this game. Notice cat girl vibe. Nice cat girl vibes. Thank you. I try. I I am a huge fan of Isaac, and in that I hate this game so goddamn much. We have beans. We do. Oh god, not the beans, chat. Don't. Not the beans. Why you have to bully me? Jesus, this is disgusting. This is kind of fucked up, how much we're, like, just murdering everything. The crystal key? It's a little late for that video game. I mean, I'll still take it, but it's a little late for that, don't you think? Maybe we'll get the R key. Maybe we'll get the R key. Truly click the beam link every time. God damn it. Currently at work, Night Shift Vibes came to watch one of your favorite games. Check out new streams. So far enjoying? Wonderful. I'm glad you're here. I'm always happy to have new faces come in. Say hello. Yeah, no, I, I play Isaac on Mondays lately. Uh, we also have like 400 plus episodes on YouTube. So if you're ever interested in the backlog or want to see more of me, um, check out the YouTube channel. Adoration Urination. That's the one. That's the bitch. Uh, can someone do exclamation point socials, by the way? I would appreciate I know it'll play it eventually, but... Thank you, Working. Thank you, Sabsy. Thank you both. <gasps> Gromfaloon? A Gromfarade? Hello, Gromfaloon. How are you? Welcome in, everybody. How was your stream? What were you doing today? You were you were drawing again, weren't you? Can you do a shout out for Grom, please? Hello, sock and the cow. Hello, Gromfaloon. How how is you doing? How how is you be? We're here to Grom my Faloon. Ah, shit. Not my Faloon. More emotes and shenanigans? I see. Gonna watch until you get sent to another rescue call? Okay, just be safe. There we go. Things went pretty well, though. Pretty productive. Good, 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 good. We like to hear productivity around here. Okay, boss cannot be here. God, that was fast. That was very fast to kill. Thank you for doing the shout out. This is Grom. He draws some, some emotes and plays some Super Mario, or not Super Mario, um, Super Metroid randomizer linked to the past randomizer together. How much of this game have I completed? I have 100%. I have 100% of the game. I just play for funsies now. I, I play because it's it's my comfort game. It's the game that I fall back on all the time. But I have 100% in it. Hello, Cave Manic. We all hope Grom is well, because if he's not well, I'm going to make him well. By force. What's, what's going on underneath my, my desk? Sorry, I have a, a speaker down there. I have a subwoofer that I use as a footstool. I don't need, it's not even attached to anything. I actually cut the power cord off of it, but I still have it. <laughs> yeah, no, I love this game. I play this game a lot, and also I hate this game. But, you know, it's it's the game that I play. <gasps> Yo, thank you for the follow, huh, mage? I appreciate. Ow. I appreciate. I definitely think that if you enjoy Isaac content, I have a lot of it. And, you know, you're always welcome to go and check it out. Just, I'm just gonna leave. Subs. Woof, woof, bark, bark. Woof, 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 bark, bark. Woof, 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 bark, bark, bark. <laughs> you're out in spirit. I'm just gonna eat that. Hmm. <laughs> I love making chat suffer. 
Oh god, it actually it gave me an item room? Oh, and then it put me back in delirium. That's hilarious. I destroyed my poop. Alright, um... Monsieur Delirium! Could you don't? I'm, I'm relying on the homing for a lot of the work here. You are lurking? Oh, thank you so much for lurking. I appreciate lurkers. We love lurkers around here, chat. Lurkers are beloved. Lurkers are absolutely beloved. Ouch. I might die. I might die, chat. A tower? That doesn't help me at all. Oh, God. Because, like, I'm just relying on homing to do all the work for me instead of, like, actually, like, fighting the boss like a normal human being. And it's not going well for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on this for a hot second and try not to die. because I would prefer to win this one. Are you fucking serious? That bitch telefragged me. He teleported into me as Brownie and then teleported away and I died. God damn it. Motherfucker. Fucker. <sighs> well, that sucks. That sucks a lot. 